Hi everybody, I'm Adrienne. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I am part of another hop today and it is called Case, which is copy and share everything. I um, used the person I got paired up with. I um, didn't copy everything, but I um, used the card as inspiration. So this is the card I'll be showing you how to make today. This is the one I made and um, yeah, I'll show you who was my inspiration for this beautiful card. How adorable is Charlotte's card? Okay, so I've pre-cut my card and my card front. And now what I'm doing is just showing you, I also did prepare this as well, as I just um, cut like a little hill out of the scrap piece of card and I've used my Nuvu glue pen and um, just let that dry for a bit so it gets a little bit tacky so that I can stick it onto the bottom of my card there. So now I'm just going through and I found this um, stint stencil um, from Aliexpress um, with some like Christmassy type leaves on it um, so I thought I'd use that because I actually need to make a whole heap of cards for um, Harkers which is a local charity here for um, Christmas so I thought well perfect opportunity to do another, yeah, another Christmas card um, so I was going to use my glitter paste but it had dried all up I was really disappointed about that but never mind I had a look through my stash and um, found some Nuvo glitter drops to use instead I'm really sorry I seem to have lost some of the footage there um, what I did was I just squeezed the glitter, Nuvo glitter drops just onto the stencil and then used it that way um, fairly simple technique so while I'm waiting for the paste to dry, I decide to um, put my sentiment stamp on. So I decide to, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I stamp my sentiment on. So I'm just using some Versafine Nocturne ink and some clear embossing powder, uh, Ranger and also the stamp I'm using is scrapbook.com and it's called sentiments for every occasion and I just use my heat tool and I heat set the embossing powder and also the um, Nuvo glitter drops so next I get the stencil back out and decide to use mode lawn uh, range of distress oxide um, scrapbook.com stenciling brush and the same stencil from Aliexpress again just to go over and um, put some more dimension and interest in that corner Now I've done this technique before on another one of my cards but um, yeah it ended up taking off the ink as well um, not just off the Nuvo glitter drops 
and yeah so I decided to not do that so <laughs> Um, when I'd done this tech book before I'd used alcohol ink so it worked a lot better so with this one I obviously took off the ink and that's not what I wanted so I decided to leave that well alone and just cover up my mistake um, I've already pre-coloured in the stamp um, I've been doing a whole heap of Im images and saved them um, for things like this at the moment because I know we'll be making lots and lots of cards so the stamp set I use for this one is an LDRS Creative stamp set and it's absolutely adorable. And I for colouring in I use, I've just got some new Nuvo alcohol markers and I'm really liking them. Um, I like them in the fact that they come in sets of three so all the shading colours are already there for you. Um, but I don't like... I like the thin tip but I don't like the thick tip um, yeah so this is another image that I've colored in and um, yeah just fussy cutting out if you are wanting the these I have a big sheet um, like digital stamp set set up for this if you're wanting a copy of it you are more than welcome to have it um, I just basically print a sheet of these um, Christmas hats and I sit there and colour in the whole lot and then cut them up because they are so good to turn any stamp set into a Christmas card set um, yeah just so adorable if you're wanting a copy of that just um, yeah get in contact with me and I'll send it through to you because um, yeah it pretty much fits any any stamp and yeah it's really adorable so I've just glued my hat on to my little dog and now I'm just trimming around the outside just making the front of my card make sure that it fits nice and neatly on the front and now I'm figuring out where I want to put my dog and I do a little bit of a mistake which you'll see but I'm just popping it up with some um, oh, scotch foam tape so yeah see so I put it on and then I pull it off and then re-adhere it to be more on the mountain so yeah I, after this I will just use the new Vogue little drops again no I don't use those I will just use the Dimensional Pearlescent Paint White, white Opal Liquid Pearls. Um, I just used that on the Santa's hat on the just to give it some more dimension and interest. Oh I've missed a little bit out. I also use a white pen just to um, put the shine on the, on the Christmas hat as well. So that's pretty much it for this card. I really hope you get some inspiration for your next card. Um, and yeah, make sure you go and check out Charlotte's channel and her card. It is a really cool card. And yeah, if you've got any ideas on what you'd like to see on my channel next, please yeah, pop a comment down below. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time. Bye.